Bookie Bookies, it's your boy Ant. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I quit doing hair. <gasps> Oh my god, I thought that was your passion. I thought that's what you wanted to do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Pause. You can just not get your popcorn. Follow me on my social media. Like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any time I post, upload, or do anything on the channel. And let's go ahead and clock that T. Clock it! And get into why I quit doing here. So, y'all, um, honestly, this video is really emotional for me because it's like. Y'all know, or y'all knew, or if you know me, you knew, you, you knew the, you know. I wanted to be a hairstylist. Like I wanted to do hair, you feel me? Preferably wigs, preferably wigs. Like I was I was supposed to be the next Eric and Tay, the next Mitch, the next Cliff Mir, the next, okay? But things kind of didn't happen like that. And let me just take y'all back to, you know, young, you know, and when I was like younger and I was, you know, growing up. So for me, hair was always like, not really like, hair wasn't always my passion, but it was always something that I, you know, was curious and just, you know, interested in doing. However, the thing with it was, you know, it was always something I wanted to do. And, you know, I couldn't really do it when I was younger. You know, I grew up, I got older. I was talking about doing it, but it was never something that I was like, you know, took serious and like really wanted to do for real for real. It was just something I was saying like, you know, oh, this is something I'll be interested in doing. However, boom, fast forward, you know, I got my place and I started doing locks. I was okay with locks, you know, I was dying, I was locking, retwisting, you feel me? Like, I was doing a lot when it came to locks, but it's like, that wasn't what I wanted to do. And it's like, you know, I wanted to do wigs, but the thing with, like, doing wigs, first of all, wigs cost a lot of money. Like, wigs are not cheap, wigs are expensive, so it's like, I kind of had to, you know, invest into myself. Like, I had to, like purchase the wigs and then tell people I was gonna do it for them because at the end of the day it's like if I mess it up you could just take your money back and you take the wig off because I pay for it but it's like people wasn't gonna trust me you know just with their 100% human wig that they bought come on now because baby I ain't gonna lie I ain't trusting no beginner with my 30 inch bust down no ma'am so it's like I understand but also it was also hard and frustrating because I had like female friends who wore wigs, but however, they didn't let me do their wigs. So it was just like, bro, okay, cool. I was just posting like, oh my God, who can let me do their wig? Then one girl, big shout out to you. She the first girl to ever let me do her wig and I'm gonna post it on the screen, you feel me? However, uh, yes, I know y'all, that wig looked terrible. It looked terrible, 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 okay? But you feel me? I was a beginner. I was just learning. I was just trying, you know, out some new things. So I want to say that was the first week, then it was like I posted it and baby, <laughs> if people already wasn't going to trust me because I never had no experience, then I post that experience, oh baby nobody wanted to trust me, mm -mm. no ma'am, no ham, no turkey, because I decided to go out and buy like, you know, just a bunch of like different wigs and I posted like, oh my god, you know, who want to be my brand ambassador, who want to be like my little hair model, you know. $50 installs, $50 installs, you know, let me just practice, I'm practicing. I had three girls. I did day hair. And their hair actually turned out good, you know, however, I dyed those wigs, you feel me? Like, those wigs were dyed. Like, those wigs were actually, you know, hand dye, like those wigs were 613, you know, I dyed them and colored them. So boom, you know, I did those, and those kind of helped me get a little bit of exposure, but you know, people still wasn't trusting me because in one, you know, I was a beginner, I didn't have my license, and then the whole process of, you know, me trying to get my license was tricky. So the high school that I went to, they offer cosmetology, but however, I couldn't join the cosmetology program. It was just a lot. They First they lied to me and said I couldn't join, then I found out the next year that I could have joined, but I should have joined the year before, so I'm just like, well, why would you tell me this, but now you telling me this, like, hello, what, what's going on? So, you know. I didn't have a license, you know, I'm a beginner, you know, I got like two, three, four little experiences, you know, 
but that's still beginner like come on now like i said no one is just gonna trust you with doing a wig so you know what i do i continue to go out and buy more wigs buy more wigs buy more wigs you know that's me you know putting money out there on top of you know still trying to afford my apartment so it's like you know if y'all don't know if you know you know but if you don't know wigs are expensive you know not on not only or wigs expensive the glue uh you gotta buy the heating materials you gotta get a crimper you gotta get your curling eye you gotta get your wand curl you gotta get it's so much stuff you gotta get your bleach you gotta get your developer because you know you gotta release the knots you gotta pluck the lace you gotta get the eyebrow razors and you gotta change the razors you're not supposed to reuse razors because that's nasty because you might cut them and then it's just like uh and you gotta get alcohol in case you cut them then it's like okay if you cut them now you gotta get some needle spore like it's so much stuff then you gotta get the curly mousse you gotta get the edge control you gotta get the wax stick you gotta get this you gotta get that you gotta get so much then oh my god let's not talk about if they want to style you gotta get the bows you gotta get the barrettes you gotta get the beat like it's so much when it comes to doing hair like it it's it's so expensive like it's such an expensive like career to want to be in but however because you know i i was trying so, y'all i was trying so hard like i was trying so hard okay boom i want to say fast forward you feel me boom 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 you feel me i got a couple people to let me do the hair y'all see on the screen you know i ate it up i ate it up i ate it up i ate it up however i wasn't getting over turning clientele and a lot of them clients that I was doing did not pay me or either it was like a service for service or it was just like, uh, like, and another thing, like when you a hairstylist, everybody try to get over you and try to get like, oh, let me get a discount. Let me do this. Let me do that. Baby, no, because you want to pay corner down the street to do your wig for $40. So don't be trying to pay me $40 or 60 or 20 or 80 when I'm actually getting better and I'm upping my prices and you tell me my price is too high. I don't feel like my prices was too high. My thing is this. Yes, I'm a beginner, but however, y'all see the material. Y'all see. Maybe. The material was up there. And mind you, it hasn't even been a year since I was doing it. So yes, I'm up my prices because I just feel like you got to like because of the fact that i'm paying for all this stuff hell yeah my price is gonna be high now they're not high high like my prices was like i think 120 if you know you provide the wig then you know it's like more if i provide it because you know i'm paying for the wig and it's like if you want me to get a good quality wig not just one of these cheapo raggedy amazon wigs you know and it's no shade to the amazon wigs because you think i got good quality wigs on amazon you just have to look for them <laughs> You gotta look for them. They're, they're, not, they're not just gonna come to you. You gotta look for them. So it's like, you know, I gotta pay for the wig. Then I gotta still, you know, have some money in my pocket. And I still gotta pay for the supplies I use. And it's like, I need money for my time. So it's like, it's so much into consideration with my prices. And it's just like, I don't feel like they were too high. Because if Arrogant Tay can charge you hoes 2400 for a wig, they're only gonna be on your head for about two weeks depending on how you maintain it because that's another thing people fail to realize yeah it don't matter how good you... <laughs> it don't matter how good you are of a stylist if the client don't take care of the wig then it was just no point of you getting a wig done if you don't even know how to take care of it then it's like me i'm a t i was the type of stylist you know i was giving girls you know that i was giving them the edge bands Back some y'all. My neighbors won't be so loud when I'm recording. Like, ugh. it's like always something gotta happen. But boom, you know, I was the stylist that was giving you know the the little lace bands. I was trying to give them you know little this, a little that. I was just trying to be one of them nice extra stylists. You know, I had snacks. I was a really nice stylist, I'm not gonna hold you. But it came a point in time where it's like, 
I kept getting my kindness taken for weakness, you know. People kept trying to show up when they want to show up and do this and do that and do that. And it's like, on top of all of that, I didn't have no consistent clientele. So it's like, I still got to pay my bills. But it's like, this is still a goal and it's a dream and an ambition. It's like, you, it's like, I, I'm going to take my nine to five and sponsor my five to ten. But however, if my five to ten ain't making me no money and it's not helping me and it's not, it's not helping me in a positive way financially, then it's like something gotta give. On top of that, let's not talk about the mental toll that it is to be in a hairstylist. Cause a lot of people think that, oh my God, yeah, they could just treat a hairstylist any type of way. They could just talk to the hairstylist any type of way. Baby, no, you cannot. We're still humans. We are sitting here standing up on our feet, slaving, working on your head. Just cause we not at work nine to five or whatever the case would be, we still working, okay? Cause if you want it, you're not plucked. It's time, you gotta pluck. Bleaching them knots, you gotta bleach, lather up. Did you want to style? And then if you're a smart stylist, you're gonna style a wig before you even get to them. Or you even gonna have it straight and just have, like, it's something that comes into consideration with becoming a hairstylist and it's really pissing me off. Like, I'm getting irritated right now because it's just like, I wanna do hair, y'all. I really, 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 really wanna do hair. I wanna do my content. Like, I don't wanna keep working on fives, but it's just like, it's upsetting because it's like people kept taking my kindness of weakness. People kept playing with me and it's just like, like I know, I'm big on my mental health, I'm big on my peace. I'm not gonna let people play with me and waste my time and make me feel like, oh, I, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, y'all, I'm not gonna cry. But it's just like, y'all don't, don't think y'all understand. When it's something that you're really passionate about, just like YouTube, just like my content, y'all, I get really serious about my content just so I get serious about when I do hair. But it's just like, I had to make a decision. It's either I'm going to keep sitting here sacrificing hundreds and thousands, hundreds and thousands of dollars on these wigs, on the supplies, when ain't nobody booking. I did a whole sale for my birthday at $20 off, and ain't nobody want to book me. Like, Buki, am I tripping? Like... I did twenty dollars off for my twenty twenty. I did twenty dollars off for my twentieth birthday, and nobody wanted the book. All you had to do was provide the wig. If you it, like, <sighs> y'all. Enough of that. Anyways, you know I don't do hair no more. However, that's not like it's not like a final decision. But as of right now, I am not doing hair. I'm not taking any applications because it's just like I want to so bad. But I just, mentally, I can't do it right now. I can't. And it's like, I'd rather put all the time, energy, and money that I was putting into that, into my content. Because at least making content make me happy. Even if y'all don't be watching the video fully, or even if y'all don't really, like, watch the, it still makes me happy. Because the other day, my bookies text me, and they're appreciative for what I do. <laughs> y'all, that's the end of the video. I'm getting upset. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.